You know, my granddaughter uh, once said to me, Hey, Grandad, what did you do? And I thought, well, she must have known. She didn't have a clue. Like the rest of you people out there, you have no idea what a missions to seamen chaplain does working in the port of Liverpool. And it occurred to me, I better write it down. And that's how I started. And so my first book was called Dog Collar in the Docks. Not a bad title. And uh, it gave me complete freedom to chat about everything. All the, all the hardships, all the funny bits, it was all the hardships were plenty. You, you know, there was one Christmas, oh, I was back, back in the early 70s, when between Christmas and New Year, six times I had to call at a home to say, sorry, your husband, your, your son has been lost at sea. This was one of the toughest things I ever, ever had to do. But, but there was a lot of fun too. You know, you, you, let, me, let me tell you a Russian story. Uh, I'm, I'm very fond of the Russians, especially now as they all want to speak English, which does help me, of course. Uh, uh, it was the end of my time I retired in 89. Uh, I went aboard this Russian ship. Uh, I went to the captain, asked permission. Certainly, he said, come and see me when you've done. So I wandered around chatting to them all. You see, I was the only person who went aboard and said to them, how are you? And I listened to the answer. Everybody else was there for business, not me. I was there purely for them. And they knew it. Ended up in the master's cabin, drinking coffee. He said, terrible coffee in my job, you know. You've not lived until you've had Egyptian coffee, like you'd live afterwards, actually. The black things in it do in the backstroke. Anyway, um, oh, and Greek coffee, now that's an amazing stuff. It's so bad, they give you a glass of water to wash down the coffee. Uh, but, but, it, but the Greeks like it, so I had to like it as well. Get back to my Russian. I ended up in the master's cabin. Uh, and he said to me, having a bit of a do tonight. I love do's. Never refused to go, and to, 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 go to one yet. And uh, I said, yes, he said, delighted. Yeah, gave him the time. He said, will you make, I'll make a speech. I said, of course I will. In Russian, of course. Uh, hold on a bit. Yes, all right, I'll do it in Russian. So I went back to my study, pulled up my phrase book, you know, the Russian phrase book. The one says the postillion is dead, you know, the, old, the kind of stuff you get. I put together kind of a Welsh Russian speech. And I turned up in my best bib and tucker. And to my utter consternation, there were ladies present. But now, I couldn't remember what the Russian word for ladies was. But use your brains. Go along the corridor, and there it is, on the wall, no trouble. So time came for my speech. Uh, I stood up and off I went. Uh, and when I sat down to rather mild applause, uh, the captain said to me, very good, that's Russian. Very good, he said, but tell us, Padre, why did you address us as closets and urinals? Well, you know, you can get it wrong, can't you? Uh, it's called a learning curve. Uh, and there was, a, there was a lot of that in it. Do you know the last job I did in the mission was to walk to Hilbury Island. If you've not done that, you've not lived. But get the tides right, otherwise you won't live. Uh, I walked, uh, and there I baptized a little child called Hilbury. Hilbury. And that, and that, 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 that was, was wonderful. Next year, next November, an important date, because 160 years ago, the Mersey Mission to Seafarer was founded. We're having a bit of a do, of course, for it. I like do's. And I've been asked to write a little booklet. Uh, it'll take a form of a nonsense, really. Just lots of sea shanties. I like sea shanties. Uh, Maggie Mays, the Maggie May. I like, like Maggie May, too. Not that I've ever met her. Uh, uh, and the story of the 160 years. It'll be fun. And of course, nothing is free in this life, is it? It's going to cost you, but every penny goes to Liverpool Seafarer Centre. I hope, hope you got that message all right. <laughs>